At Adobe, our goal with all the solutions we develop is to make everything we build accessible to our customers and partners to integrate and extend as well. Think of Adobe I.O.'s client SDKs, APIs, and tools as the infrastructure you need to build on top of Adobe technology. Adobe Sensei services allow our customers and partners to leverage the same technology that powers features of our products. I'm going to show an example of our Adobe Sensei services working within a Creative Cloud desktop product. Adobe Bridge is the central hub for processing assets to be used across the Creative Cloud. Using Adobe I.O. and our Adobe Sensei APIs, we built a custom panel right inside Adobe Bridge to leverage the AutoTag Sensei service. Bridge exposes a lot of metadata that you can edit. For instance, the IPTC keyword field is where you can input keywords or tags and other metadata. This is where the AutoTag service will write our generated tags. Creating a custom panel is easy. Developers can use Adobe's common extensibility platform and build the panel with basic web technologies like JavaScript and HTML. Here's our custom auto tag panel. We've built this to return between one and 20 tags. It's not a limit of the service, but one that we set when coding this example. In our code, we've also set a confidence level setting. This tells AutoTag to allow tags that are say, above a 70% confidence level. Now. Imagine the art department of your company has thousands of images acquired over the years. However, these images don't have metadata to help identify the content, just file names like IMG with a bunch of numbers. You could ask one of your employees to tag those files, but that would not be a fun job. With Adobe Sensei services, we can leverage the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning to do this tedious task for us. Let's take a look. Here's an image of a snow scene. There are a lot of elements in this photo. I really don't want to spend the time to tag this myself. Clicking the auto tag button, the cloud service analyzes the image and returns the results. For this image, it saw snow, winter, cold, nature. All of these are words that will help someone find this image. Looking at the keyword field, you can see it has written these into the file. These tags are now available in any other application like Photoshop or Adobe Experience Manager. Okay, let's see how it does with an image of people. I'm gonna click the auto tag button again. It came back with child, girl, family, boy, children. You get all of the relevant tags and you even get happy and childhood. So not only objects, but emotion and time frames. That is powerful. Let's use this next image to showcase another feature of this example. I already have this image tagged with a keyword, CGI. Clicking auto tag, you'll see that this process is non-destructive. If you have images with custom keywords, this solution will not overwrite them, but rather append the new generated tags. Okay, these next few are spectacular images I downloaded from National Geographic from their wallpaper section. Clicking auto tag, Adobe Sensei detects all the things you expect. Hummingbird, ruby-throated, flying. Wait, it actually detected if this bird is at rest or if it's flying? That is pretty amazing. As you can see, it does work for you so you don't have to. That is the promise of computing, to speed through the mundane to allow you to focus on more interesting work. Okay, now let's move on to a couple that are a little more abstract. This is an image of a leaf. I'm guessing. Let's see what Adobe Sensei sees. We get green, leaf, nature, background, and you know what is amazing? It points out that it's a macro photo. It tells you the type of photo, not just what's in the photo, but that it's a macro shot. Let's see what happens if we expand the number of tags. Now we get words like texture, that is an abstract, we've got close up, so again, it's giving you information about the aspect of how this photo is framed in addition to just the objects. Let's try another one. Now Adobe Sensei reveals that this is a parrot, macaw, blue. Okay, one of the crazy things about this is that you've got this word ARA, right? When I first saw this, I thought it was making things up or maybe it was giving me a good Scrabble word until I looked up on Wikipedia the word ara. It's the genus of macaw. It's a word that identifies this bird as being a member of the macaw family. Okay, this is unbelievable. So Adobe Sensei is teaching me as well. 
Now, to wrap up, let's try this on a cat photo. Actually, not just one photo, but a whole batch of them. The power of Adobe Bridge is allowing you to batch process many images at once. These images are from a small island in Japan called Tashirojima, or as it is informally known, Cat Island. This is a small island where cats outnumber humans six to one. I just select the folder and click auto tag. And now, looking at the output, it goes through and properly tags all these images. You've got cat, animal, etc. This is the power of leveraging these APIs using Adobe Sensei to automatically do work for you. While we've built this example using a single API, the AutoTag service, you could definitely extend this to process other APIs like cropping or aesthetics. I hope you've enjoyed this brief demonstration showing how to put Adobe Sensei services to work for you by extending the products you already use. Thank you.